Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to plot residuals using R Commander and how to save them using R Commander. Now unfortunately in R Commander there's really no other way that we can do this from using the drop down menus, so we're going to have to use some code. However, um, the code is pretty simple and every time you click something from the drop down menu it shows you the corresponding code. Um, that it would take to do that um, in R in your script window. So hopefully this stuff looks kind of familiar to you and uh, you're getting to the point where you would be able to recognize it whenever, um, if you had to do this on your own. So to start with, um, we're going to go ahead and run, after our data set is uploaded, um, we're going to go ahead and run two different linear regression models so that we can get residuals from them. So we've got vote share and we're going to start with challenger spending and we're going to do this. Red model one. And then we're going to run a second one. And fit models in your regression. And we're going to change our explanatory variable to incumbent spending. And we're going to go ahead and change this name to red model two. So, um, this is what you've done up until this point. We have our output down here. And so this is something that you should be familiar with. Now one thing to note is that every model that we run in our commander is named something. So for example, regmodel.1 or regmodel.2 here. And this is because R is an object-oriented language, which means that we can tell R to save something as a name, and that's what the left arrow is for. And so if we wanted to call that object again, all we have to do is use that name. So if we wanted to talk about the linear regression, regressing vote share on, chal or on challenger spending, then all we would have to do is type in regmodel.1 in whatever function we want to use. So it's important to keep up with these names. So to save the residuals, we want to save the residuals as an object, just like regmodel.1 is saved. So we'll name these res1, and we will do residuals, and reg model dot one. So these are the residuals for the first model. So and we'll go ahead and name res2 residuals reg model dot two. And we submit both of those. So now the residuals are saved. So say we wanted to regress the residuals of one of them onto an already existing variable in um, our data set. So this is, um, unfortunately, there's no way that we can do this through the drop-down menus because the length of the residuals are lower than the length of the, the other observations in the data frame, so we can't coerce it back to the data frame. So just know that you have to do this through code. So we're going to go ahead and name this res model dot one. So that's for residual model one. So lm is the command in our commander to run a linear regression or a linear model. And so this is something that you see from the, the command that you use anyways whenever you use the drop down menu. So lm, um, we type in our explanatory variable or explanatory variable first, or no, our response variable first. I'm sorry about that. So if we wanted to run it on data set vote share and then we would do res1 so this is saying um, we're regressing vote share from our data set on res1 in this case and yeah we can hit submit and this is our we will get our model. And so to look at the output that we typically get, we use summary and we go to resmodel.1. And so we get our summary. And so we can say a one unit increase in res1 or a one unit increase in res1 results in a one unit increase in vote share. And so this is a result that I will leave you to reflect upon. So Moving on then. So say we wanted to plot the two residuals, or plot one of this value against the residuals. So to do this, we would use plot. 
And so in this case, remember that we defined res1 as our explanatory variable. So plot takes them backwards, and we have to put them in, or at least backwards of lm. And so we have to put it in x comma y in plot. So we put in res1 comma data set share, and we plot. And so it comes up in our other window. And there it is. And so this is a bit odd. So, however, I'm going to help you with um, the probably the more complicated question on your homework. What if we wanted to plot the two residuals next to each other and then draw the linear best fit line through it? So to start with, remember we have to run the linear model through these two since we want to fit the best fit line through it. So we do ln, and we're going to name this res model 2 in this case. And so we're going to make res 2 res 1, which is us saying that res 2 is our response variable, and res 1 is our explanatory variable. So we can run this. So as before, we do summary res model dot 2, hit submit. And so this is the typical box that we normally get with our output. And so I'll leave that to you to figure out how to interpret that. So say we wanted to plot these next to each other. We would use the plot command. And so since we made res1 our explanatory, we make it our first variable in here, our x variable, comma, res2. So we plot that. And so I'll show you that it exists first. So this is what they look like. So inside our commander, to plot the least squares line through this plot, we have to use the function abline. And so this is a function that's used to draw straight lines in R. So abline is really smart and can take a number of inputs. So all we have to do to plot the abline through there is put in the name of the model that has the um, linear regression stuff. So in this case, resmodel.2 is what we want to do. So to make it stand out a little more, and just a little bit of personal preference and recommendation at this point, change the color of the line, like we had before, comma, and then LTY equals 3. And so LTY just changes, um, it makes it a dotted line, and it makes it not blend in with the, um, the, the points as much. It's just so that we can tell it apart a little bit more. So we do that, and submit. And so we have our best fit line with the dotted green line here, and these are our residuals plotted. So I believe this is all that you will need for your homework, uh, particularly for the problem on the residuals. But of course, if you have any more questions, you can come to any of our numerous office hours this weekend, or you can email us and we will try to get back to you as best as we can. But um, yeah, hopefully you don't just understand how to do that problem. You understand how to save residuals from your models in R Commander and R in general.